Well, welcome back inside the Reese's Senior Bowl film room where we've taken you on a journey looking at all the different positions on both offense and defense and today our focus is going to be tight ends. When scouts hit the road in the various colleges across the country, they're really looking for three different attributes in these particular athletes. Number one, they're looking for suddenness, the ability for the tight end to separate and get away from man coverage on defense. Number two, they're going to assess their hands, their actual catching ability, the skill to extend their hands away from their body and make the grab. And then number three, they're going to analyze their blocking, and that can include not only run blocking, but pass protection as well. Well, here's a practice from last year's 2013 Senior Bowl, and this is Vance McDonald from Rice University, who ultimately was a second round pick for the San Francisco 49ers. This is a one-on-one -on -one drill. He's going against Bakari Rambo from Georgia. He's gonna come up the field and then break across, separate, and then cut off the angle, coming back toward the line of scrimmage, reach up and make a nice two-handed catch before working upfield. If a tight end has the speed to beat a safety down the field, that also can be a huge benefit. And again, this is Vance McDonald from Rice going against Robert Lester, who ultimately made the Carolina Panthers as an undrafted free agent. But watch McDonald work up the seam here and then break to the corner and make a nice over-the-shoulder grab. And again, he adjusts on the football, reaches up with both hands, makes the catch. The second characteristic that the scouts are going to look for in these college tight ends is the ability to actually catch the ball. And this is Michael Rivera from the University of Tennessee. Again, last year's Senior Bowl practices. And watch how he comes up. Now, he has a bit of a push off on the top of his route, but nevertheless, he comes across the field and extends up very high to make the grab. And these are the kind of catches that keep drives alive for these pro quarterbacks. With the prevalence of tight ends now getting involved vertically in the passing game, it's really important for these players to show the ability to catch the ball down the field. And here's a three deep zone, so it's really important if the tight end has the kind of speed that can threaten the seam. And this is Vance McDonald again, working up the hash mark. Boom, makes the catch. Big play, and those are the kinds of things and qualities that the San Francisco 49ers saw in him to make him a second round pick. The third and final quality that NFL scouts are going to look for in these college tight ends is their ability to block, and that really encompasses a couple of different style of blocks. And here, Vance McDonald for Rice is going against UTEP from last year, 2012 season. And here he is as an end-of-line run blocker at the point of attack, playing from a three-point stance with Rice running a power type of scheme to his side. And we'll also see it from the end zone copy as well. And again, in this era of tight ends that are detached and playing in two-point stances, here's an opportunity to see McDonald play from a three-point stance, block an outside backer or defensive end at the point of attack with the ball carrier going inside of him. We showed you McDonald blocking as an end-of-line tight end at the point of attack. Now he's going to arc release and his assignment is actually a second level defender and at six foot four, 265 pounds, he's going to show you the agility to block in space. And again, you're looking at his base, his platform, and his ability to swing his hips and engulf this linebacker that's trying to run to the outside and get to the perimeter. But again, we talked about playing from a two-point stance and three-point stance, and here's Vance releasing, then working up to the second level, and again, gaining position on that box linebacker. We've shown you Vance McDonald at the in-line tight end position. Here he is as a detached receiver, and again, it's a man that's 260 pounds or so, and he's gonna block out here in space on a quick screen to his rice receiver and spring the runner for a few extra yards. But again, you're looking at the agility and a different aspect of blocking rather than what you just think of as, as being at the point of attack. Here he is out in the grass, which is really where football is going in the future. Again, he's gonna contact, use his hat and hands, and then also shows the excellent balance uh, with his feet 
keeping a wide base and staying contacted with his assignment. Okay, so within the blocking realm, we've seen Vance McDonald as an inline point of attack blocker. We've seen him detached as a space blocker out in the open field. And now we see him get an opportunity to pass protect here. And this is Rice, quarterbacks in the shotgun, and Vance off of a play fake is going to uh, pass protect against this outside linebacker. The things that you really want to look for here again, the base and platform, the hand position inside, and then look at him slide laterally there and force his defender to go around the corner to the outside. Here's the end zone picture of the same play and again McDonald playing what they call the Y position, the classic tight end spot. From a three-point stance he's going to block, his assignment is to block this outside backer defensive end. Tries to get his hands inside, he's got a good base and platform, he's able to force the defender to the outside. 